Hello friends, today we are going to learn how to solve sequential input output puzzles in logical reasoning. So in this type of questions an input is given as you can see and then based on some pattern five steps are given. Number of steps may vary from question to question. We need to find the hidden pattern here and based on the pattern there will be five questions we need to answer. It looks like a difficult question and time consuming. Yes. If you use the traditional method, it will be. But believe me friends, there are some tricks you need to use to make it less time consuming and easier. Before we start solving it, let's see first the type of questions you may encounter with. Please watch the whole video to learn how to solve each type of questions. So the types of questions you may encounter with are as follows. Number one. An output is given and you need to find out input based on the pattern. Number two, find out the final step for the given input. Three, find out how many steps are required to complete the given pattern. Four, particular step is given and you need to find the last or any other particular step. Five, find out the last but one step. Let's get back to our example and observe the input here. This is one of the easiest example I have just taken in my first video tutorial input may contain numbers and characters but for the ease of learning i have just taken the numbers here we will take difficult examples in the next tutorial you can find links for those tutorials at the end of this video so if you go through the input there are eight numbers arranged in a scrambled order so there is no specific order here okay and going through the step one to step five it follows some specific order and ends at step 5. So in order to find out this hidden pattern here, just go to the step 5 and observe the series. If you observe the series, it's in descending order with the highest number at the first place and the lowest at the last one. So we have just found the hidden pattern here that is the numbers, the scrambled numbers provided in the input. We just need to arrange those numbers in a descending order step by step. Now this is very important going through the steps from one to five we need to check how many elements are arranged in each steps for step one if you observe the highest element from input that is 98 is moved to the first place in step one and all the rest of the elements are in the same order as input if you use the pen and paper just cross mark on 98 from the input and put underline for 98 in step 1. I will put a square box for 98 in input and change the color for 98 in step 1. So we are confirmed now that only one element is being moved in each steps. So now we know the pattern that is to arrange the number given in input in descending order by selecting only one element for each step. There is a little twist in this pattern that you don't have to worry about now. We will discuss this with the example for second type of question. Now we will try to resolve the questions being asked for this input. So the first question is if the output of step 4 given below what was the input? And the step 4 is given as the number of series here and four options are given as a b c d we have to select one of the option as the answer so the question says that if a particular step is given then based on the pattern based on the input pattern what would be the input remember we have seen the type of questions we may encounter with the given input pattern so this is the exactly type 1 question and when this type of question asked indicating what was the input you do not have to worry just select cannot be determined it as simple as that if any step is given any middle step is given we cannot determine the input based on the pattern now the second question says what should be the last step of the following input and the input is given as follows based on this input there are four options and we need to select one of the correct answers from our list of types of questions this is the second type of question and this is also one of the easiest questions to answer just like the first one due to the fact that we know the pattern 
To answer this question and find out the last step, we don't have to waste our time in writing down all the steps for the input to get to the last step. You know the pattern, just arrange the numbers from input in a descending order and you have the answer. Match our answer with the options given. So, B is the correct answer for our second question. Now, let's move to the third type of question. That is, if an input is given and you need to find out how many steps are required to complete the pattern. Here, I have taken the same input as the second question. Remember guys, the second question was to find out the last step, which was pretty easy once you know the pattern, but we need to find out the number of steps required to get to the last step, which is somewhat time taking as we have to find each step in order to find out the number of steps. So let's complete the pattern and get our last step for the given input. Here is our input. And as we have already discovered that the pattern here is to arrange the numbers given in input in descending order, moving only one object for each step. Now go to the input and find out the highest number which is 96 and put it in the first spot in step 1. All the rest numbers will be in the same order just as input. Here only one object is moved and we got our first step. So I'm going to make square around 96 in input and change the color of 96 in step 1. If you are using pen and paper, just cross mark for 96 in uh, input and put underline for 96 in step 1. Now, in step 2, put 96 as it is in the first spot and from the rest of the numbers in step 1, find out the highest number which is 81 and put it in the second spot in step 2. But if you observe, the 81 is already in the second spot in step 1 itself so what we will do here is go find the next highest number in step 1 from the remaining number which is 79 and put it in the third spot in step 2 and the rest of the numbers will be in the same order as in step 1 so it is very important if the number is already there in the spot in previous step Find out the next highest number and put it in the next spot. The rest of the numbers will be in the same order. Practically, we have moved two objects here in the same step. That is because one object was already there in the spot. I hope you understand this. This is really important. So put a box on 81 and 79 in step 1 and change the color in step 2. Now in step 3, follow the same process. And the first three elements will be the same as in step 2. Find the highest number from the rest of the numbers in step 2. That is 65. Put it on the fourth spot in step 3. Put the square box on 65 in step 2 and change the color in step 3. The rest of the numbers will be, the, will be in the same order as in step 2. So now you know the drill here, how to move only one object in each step and find out the next step. So let's not get deep into the process and if you follow the same process, you will get step 4, step 5 and finally step 6. If you observe, we have moved two elements in step 1 and step 5. Elements moved in step 1 are 81 and 79 due to the fact that while determining the step 2, 81 was already there in the second spot. I have already explained this while uh, we were finding the step 2. So we again moved second element 79 in the same step. In the same manner, if you follow the process, you will find that while finding out the step 6, that is final step 17 is already there in the seventh spot so we again moved the second element in the same step that is 
10. You may encounter the situation where you will have to move three or move more elements in the same step. This is only the question that will consume your time more during solving. But with pen and paper, it will take less time than what I am doing here on a digital board. So practice a lot to make your hands faster as practice will only make you faster. So from here we can see that six steps are required to complete the given pattern or to get the last step. So B6 is the correct answer for our third question. Now the fourth question is if the third step is given for an input then what will be the next step and the third step is given as this. So this is our fourth type of question where any particular step is given for an input and you need to find out the particular step. In our case, the next step means the fourth step. This is also one of the very simple question. You just need to follow the same pattern as we did in the previous question. Here, the third step is given for an input and we need to find the next step. So you know the pattern here. We need to arrange on the one element and we will get our answer. First, find out how many steps are already arranged in descending order in the given step 3. So if you observe, first 4 elements are already arranged in descending order. After that, the numbers are again in the scrambled order. So in our answer, the first 4 elements will be the same. Now, we have to move only one object in order to get the next step. So find out the highest number from the rest of the numbers in step 3 which is 37 and put it in the fifth spot in the next step. The rest of the numbers will be in the same order as in step 3. So we got the answer here. You may also ask to get the last step for the given input if the third step or any other step is given. Then remember guys for the last step don't waste your time just arrange whatever the numbers are given in descending order and you will get the answer. We already saw the example to find out the last step. Now compare our answer with the options given and C is our answer. Now we will see the last type of question that is find out the last but one step. We will see one of the example for this type uh, which will give you the clear idea about this sentence. This question only sounds tricky but it's also very easy if you know how to get to the last step which we have already learned in our second and third type of question you can easily solve this question. So the question here says what is the last but one step for the given below input and the input is given as this. I took the same input we used in our third and fourth question. What does this sentence means last but one step sounds weird right but it means that not the last one but one step before that the second last step for this input we have already determined six steps in our fourth question as below from these six steps we can say that fifth one is the last but one step for the given input so b is the correct answer for our final question I hope you enjoyed and liked this tutorial. Keep sharing it and for the other input output tutorial questions you can click on this video. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you.